Hey guys, welcome to Master the Riff 121. I'm going to look at how to play Back in the Village by Iron Maiden off the Power Slave album. And this is a request from Stephen uh, over the Master the Guitar uh, Patreon group. So let's get stuck in. First off, I'm in standard tuning for this. And this riff is mostly kind of an A minor kind of feel, but it has this kind of major sixth kind of interval in there, so maybe a little bit of kind of Dorian flavour as well, but it's mostly like an A minor. So this is um, one of these classic kind of Aiden, Maiden kind of pedal note riffs, and what I mean by that is I'm playing this kind of A string as a pedal note, and what I'm going to be doing here is my first little phrase, I'm going to be playing that A string uh, open twice, and then playing 10th fret of that um, a string. Now I use my fourth finger here because what I'm going to do after that is then I'm going to play. So I'm doing the A string twice again and then I'm doing uh, the ninth fret of the A string. Now picking wise, if you're using a strict alternate picking there, you'd be doing like a down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah. Now, next little bit. Sounds like that. So I start this with my open A string, play it twice. Then what I'm going to do is to pull off 10 to 7, and this is why I'm using my fourth finger up at this area here. I'm going to do a pull off 10 to 7 on the D string. Yeah, then I play 10 in the A string, and then 7 in the D string. So that's my little group of four notes there. Yeah, then I go play the same thing, but now I'm starting from 9th fret of the D string. So I do a pull off, 9 to 7. And then 10 on the A string, and then 7 in the D string. Yeah, so slowly it goes, it goes like this. Yeah, now picking wise, that kind of your next uh, kind of bunch of notes, and you want to aim to get into downstroke again to get back into the riff. So when you play that slow, you're there with a downstroke to do the kind of repeat. So that whole kind of first bar sounds like this. Okay, in the second bar we're pretty much doing the same thing. We do that, so we've got our you know open A twice, tenth fret with the fourth finger, the A string, then open A twice, the ninth fret, and then put the open A string twice again. But instead of doing the longer phrase, I have something that sounds like this. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a pull off again, ten to seven in the D string, fourth the first finger, then I play tenth fret on the A string. And then I play 7th fret of the D string. Now, because of the almost the groove of this, I've kind of notated it as a... Like the 10th the fret here. It's not pulling off to the A string, you don't really hear the A string. But to get the feel similar to the first bar... You kind of want that. You don't want to hear... You don't hear that note sustained for like an 8th. It's more like cut like a 16th or something. Okay, and that's your kind of main uh, kind of part of the first riff, you know. Yeah. Next little bit is a load of uh, kind of hammer-ons. What I'm going to be playing here is I'm going to do a hammer-on open A string, hammer-on to fifth fret of the A string with the first finger, and then seventh fret of the A string with either the third or the fourth finger. So you have that. Now this is all even 16, so even though you're doing little groups of three notes here, try and keep this nice and even. You take that pattern and do the same thing in the D string, so zero, five, seven, hammers. Then you do the same thing in the G string. Yeah, so slowly those uh, kind of nine notes go. Okay, then you have this little sequence that sounds like this. So I'm kind of coming down, almost visualising a G power chord here. So 3rd fret of the E string, 5th of the A and the D. I'm going to hit that D string, do a hammer and pull off 0 to 5, back to 0 in the D string. I use my first finger for that. Then I'm going to do a pull off 5 to 0 in the A string, and a pull off 3 to 0 in the E string. Okay, so that whole bar sounds like this. Okay, then you basically do that again, so you're doing your 0, 5, 7 in the A, 0, 5, 7 in the D, 0, 5, 7 in the G, 
and you go back to 0, 5, 7 in the D string here and then you play 5th fret of the G string now the first time you play that is with a pinch harmonic just to make the note kind of pop out so slowly those two bars into this yeah and you basically do that another two times so you're playing that kind of section three times and then after that you're back into your main riffs so you're back up the and that's it yeah so this is a great riff um for i guess working at the kind of higher tempos it's about 125 bpm is 16 so it's not like uber fast but it's just getting that kind of you know that kind of intensity and the thing that's really good for is this idea of trying to work on even sixteenths with legato when you normally have little three note per string shapes or three notes like that there's a tendency to almost play it like triplets but you want to have that you know da, 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 da. Yeah, so it's a good riff for working in that sort of thing. So there you go, that's it. Thanks to Steve for suggesting it. Uh, if you have any lesson suggestions or you want to look into some extra lesson materials or get Helix patches, like the Helix patch I created for this lesson, uh, or in-depth kind of lessons with the Mass of the that solo series that we've just started, check out uh, the Mass of the Guitar and Patreon page and all that stuff is there. As usual, you can check out Mass of the Guitar on Instagram, uh, on Twitter, Facebook, all those kind of usual places. Uh, and I hope you guys stay safe out there and stay well, and I'll see you soon.